G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a couple of flip cut pours in oranges and reds, black and metallic silver. Just the four colours, I thought that might look quite nice, don't you think? So, pouring medium, 60% glue, this is Elmer's glue all, but you can use school glue, uh, you can use global glue any craft glue just try not to use the wood glue and 40 percent water so in there i put 600 grams of glue 400 grams of water you could put six ounces of glue and four ounces of water if you prefer that's easier for you so in here i have got 70 grams of my pouring medium and I tried to go, I start with 70 of paint, but these two I know are thicker, so they've only got 60 grams of paint in them. And that one's only got 60 grams of paint in them. This one is 70 and 70. So I'm going to put some treadmill silicone in my colours, but not the metallic. I am going to put six drops in. Because they're quite full cups. I'm going to do the black as well because I'm not doing the metallic. Four, five, six, seven. I made up a little bit of extra black just in case I needed to cover my corners. I don't need to stir you, but anyway, you're being stirred as well. That yellow still feels a little bit on the thick side to me, thicker than the others. Too late now, we've got the oil in it already. If I put water in it now and then stir it again, it would just be too much stirring. And I know I do stir them a lot, more than what most people do. Most people sort of go around three times or maybe they do a cross. I give mine a good stir because I don't want any big blobs of silicone in my pour. Okay, so just the two cups today. So I can do relatively large layers. Yep, that's drizzling okay. I thought maybe if it didn't drizzle, because it's quite high up, if it didn't drizzle, I would pour down the side, but it seems to be sitting okay on top of the black. So I'm using half of it in the first layer and then the other half in the second layer. Oops, that's going down through. I'll just have to pour on the side there. Might as well do them all. Why not get a good layering over the top? Make sure you can have a little bit more. Monday today, Good Friday coming up this Friday. My work's slowing down a little bit. Oh, looks like I might have three layers. Uh, being in the, the private sector of the hospital, we do a lot of elective surgery. Uh, the surgeons, a lot of the surgeons like to go away during the holidays, the school holidays, so they start winding down this week. So I'm working Tuesday and Thursday, and then Friday is a holiday, and then next Monday is a holiday. Um, I don't have enough for you, or maybe I do. So yeah, there's a few public holidays coming up, and then next week is um, another public holiday on the Thursday. So I've got a short week there as well, so yippee for me, lots of pouring, public holidays, lots of pouring. I do have a workshop on Easter Sunday. I wasn't planning on doing it, but one of the ladies that came to a previous workshop, she says, I'm going to be up your way on holidays for Easter. Could you possibly do a workshop for me? So I said, well, I'll see if anybody else wants to join us. And lo and behold, there were people that wanted to join in. So I now am doing... A workshop for six lovely ladies on Easter Sunday which suits me fine hubby will be away still because he works away kids have all left flown the coop the 
it's just me and my dogs. So it'll be nice to have some company on Easter. We can pour, listen to music, eat some chocolate. It'll be a good day. Now, um, I'm going to keep that black. I don't know which way I should tip these because I've poured in that way. Maybe I'll just do you this. No, I won't. Oh, I don't know. Let's do you that way. Pour it in that way and flip you over that way. Oh, I'm just doing a big flip. I'm not doing a flip and drag. I'm just doing a flip. So get away, dust. So, oh, my colours. Yeah, so that's, that's what's happening this up and coming week. Easter week to come. Okay. Global acrylics, warm yellow. And the global in the warm red. It's kind of like a dark orange, really. It's not a bright red. And then we have black. And my metallic silver is the Sargent's metallic silver. That one. I went to have a look on Amazon to get some more Elmer's Glue All. The two packs. They don't have them anymore. They had one bottle for $118, including delivery. So that's four litre bottle, one gallon, $118. Whoa. I hope that's not what it's going to be like in future. I hope they're going to bring back my two packs. Because I was getting two packs, two four litre bottles or four, uh, two gallon, two one gallon bottles for about $47, including delivery. So, oh, I hope they haven't decided to stop doing that. I don't know what I'm going to do then. No more glue all for Miss Julie. All right, let's flip these over. Lots of yellow. Lots of yellow. Now, let me see if I can pop some on the corners. See what yellow and black do together? It's that baby poo green colour, but I'm hoping that the cells that pop through will maybe combat that, disguise that fact. run off the side just yet please so I'm going to cover the surface a little bit first a little bit down here because this is an awful long way to be stretching so see if I can cover that a little bit and then I'll torch so turn it around that looks like a flame coming up through there doesn't it where did all my warm red go there's a little bit there hopefully it'll be underneath and it'll come through in the cells because at the moment it's very yellow. I wonder, let me have a look at my bottles and see if it makes a difference if one's transparent and not. Hmm. Oh, the yellow is transparent. The yellow is transparent. It says transparent down there and there's a little circle with not coloured in. And this one, semi-transparent it says. It's got little circles half coloured in. So it looks as if the transparent's sitting on top. Interesting, hey? It's usually the transparent that um, has the rings around the outside of the cells because it pops up and surrounds them. It's very scientific sometimes, pouring. All right, let's go left and right, try and cover that triangle area there. All right, I think that'll do. I don't want to, I want to leave enough area that I can still stretch my cells. So let's do a torch, but a nice, high, gentle torch. Let's see if we can get some red cells coming up. You behave, big boy. He's been very naughty lately. He's getting so excited when I get the torch out. 
Yippee, it's my turn to play, he says. But he doesn't play nice, do you? My guys must think I'm mad talking to my torch. No more mad than I am talking to a camera, hey? Let's just have a look at that for a minute. There's a lot of yellow here. I don't think I'm going to get much under that. I guess that's because I did big thick layers of yellow. It's not looking as attractive as I was picturing it in my head, I must say. Maybe I needed to finish the cup with a different colour, not um, yellow. Now, where's more water? I'm just going to put a little bit of water in my black and just thin it out a little bit. So I'm going to pop some up here. Yeah, it's not looking real good at all. I thought it was going to be really pretty, these colours, but not so far. gaps. Might as well fill them in. If you don't get to cover everything with your main pore colour then at least you've got a little bit of black there. It's better than nothing isn't it? I really wish I had more of that red. Do you hear that copper too flying over? He's probably disgusted with me because I haven't fed him. I've been ignoring him, been in here. So he's flown off angry. <laughs> um, I might do something a little bit different and go this way next push that over there so that I can don't get so much paint on my cookie cooling rack like this. They're awful things to try and clean. Look, my black's not moving. See, this is what happens when you make, when your colour that you put on there is thicker than what's on the surface. I mean, I did add extra water to it, but it's still, it's not doing its job properly. It's not flowing over as well as it should. Okay, let's turn that around. It just looks yellow. Baby poo green yellow. I don't like it. That yellow really took over. Okay, let's go to the corner. Try not to lose all my silver. And come back to the middle a bit and see if I can change directions and head over to that last corner there. Come back. I've got a big red stripe down the middle. Oh, there's a few cells that have popped up underneath that big block of yellow that I had there. I just want to see if I can open up that centre a bit. No, these cells have elongated. Well, that is not attractive, is it? Yuck! Look at that baby poo green. Not attractive at all. I think the red and the silver and the black would have been really nice. But, um, yeah, that's not good, is it? <laughs> not good at all. I don't know whether I'm going to put this video up. I guess you guys will never know. 
Mm. So you don't mind it here in, in the silver. I think that's quite attractive. That's just bleh because the cells haven't come up properly. And this is just that greenish colour. But over here where the silver is, and here, that is actually quite pretty. I'd have to rethink my colours or really cut down on the yellow. Half, maybe half the yellow. Alright, let me get my balloon. My balloon. Ah, well, let's dip. Dippity doo da day, eh? Where shall we go? Um, maybe one. We'll do one in the middle and then one there and then one here. Maybe across like that. That might look nice. Well, now the red comes up. So I don't like having that big red stripe through the centre. That's why I always, if I'm doing balloon dips, I always try and dip in a line there because it just breaks it up a bit. A lot of paint on the surface. I'm going to have to go a few times to get that off. I think I should go and get my bigger balloon actually. It's in the other room. This one's deflated a little bit. I'll just push harder and get more surface area. push quite hard on the balloons, flatten them right out and you get more surface area. Still don't like it. Nope, I don't like it. But I don't think I want to put any more balloon dips in. I just like that diagonal look there. Um, I'm going to go get my other balloon, just one sec. Wait there, don't go anywhere. Get my big balloon out. This one I just blew up a couple of days ago. Make sure I hang on to the fingers. Thumbs up, see? Alright, let's dip. And again, and lucky last. All right, I think that'll do. I had a few people ask me, they said, when I do balloon dips, I don't get petals. Why don't I get petals like you do? And I said, well, it's the cells, you need cells to make petals. If you don't have any cells, like here, you're not going to get petals. If you've got cells up here, like that, and your balloon goes into the cell and stretches the cell out, you'll get a petal. But where you've had no cells, no petals. That's why. It still looks pretty, like you can have some with and some without. If that still looks pretty um, or I guess if you wanted more cells how about we torch into the flower let's torch into the flowers and see actually it's probably not enough because I need to go around the outside of the flower torch into the outside of the flower and create a few more cells Let's see what that does. You'll probably get a few more petals. Little petals, look at that. Little petals. Aren't they pretty? So that's how you get your petals. If you haven't got cells, 
you won't get petals. So there we go. Ugly painting. Nonetheless, it's done. I'll have to try again and not use so much yellow. It was like that one I did and I said, oh, these colours should never be put together. And it was similar to this. It, well, it was green and purple and yellow and black and it, I just thought, ugh, awful. But a lot of people liked it. It actually got quite a lot of views, which is really unusual. There we go. I'm not going to take you down off the tripod. You can just have a look at it from there. I'll get down off the ladder so I'm not in the light because I've got the light behind me. What do you think? Yeah, it's all right. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Um, I'd like to try colours like this again. And I'll really cut down on that yellow. Or maybe I won't use the yellow. Maybe I'll use orange and red and leave out the yellow. Hmm. Or maybe a, a lighter orange and a darker orange. Anyway, we'll see. All right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.